I didn't learn my lesson. And so it started in 2000 and I got a little wake up call in 2013 when I had my heart, my heart attack, August 13th. Mm -hmm. like, like, uh, like, like, and said that that really, it's, it kind of scared me. But then I kept going back to my old ways, you know? And so in 2015, when I retired in August, uh, I went through a bout of depression for about six months because I had no fanfare. Nobody pat me on my back. Nobody shake my hands. Nobody brag about now me. Now you had to sit with it. Now you had to sit with it. I had there, to, there, there, you yeah. couldn't turn around and flip up and go five levels and go like, hey, I'm way above this now. I ain't even doing that no more because look at where I am. No, yeah. you had to sit with it now and I deal with the, ri so, the ripple effect that you had yeah. on other people. Right. I had a lot of time to think about my relationship with God, which I didn't have. I was yeah. off and on. I was playing with him. I wasn't repenting. So I started realizing that if I started making some changes, my health would get better. I wouldn't have any more headaches. My stomach wouldn't hurt. My chest wouldn't hurt. I was blaming yeah. all of my my I'm black and we have high cholesterol level. But it was yeah. the thing I had going in my life. It was the the lying, the, the cheating, the deceiving, the, the 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 mistreating women. You know. So I had to sit down and start realizing that I can change these things. I I don't have to be this person, even though this is what was passed down to me. I don't have to be this per per person, and I don't have to accept drama in my life. I don't have to be addicted to drama. I can live a healthy life. I can start helping people. So I started telling yeah. my story more, and I started seeing it help people and change people's lives. People started calling me, email, text, and say, hey, man, I like what you said. That helped me out. So it really made a difference in my life to know that I could really help people and not stop and stop hurting myself. Which is uh, Leon's page. Make sure you go to TikTok and uh, everywhere that you can find him, or as Leon, you said, Google me. So, so he's in the Google search. So drama does does not just walk into your life is what you uh, the posting says that you post it. Either you create it, invite it or associate with it. Now, there's a lot happening over here and there's questions that I want to uh, throw at you real quick. But I got to do this. I got to do this with everybody over here. They'll go crazy. Uh, B B says this. BP Vita uh, is the IG name. She asked this question. How about deep inside? Can they, talking about narcissists, uh, people who have behavior issues, toxic people, can they really change? And in, in uh, parenthesis, she says, honestly, uh, she wants to know from you, honestly, can they change? Uh, you actually answered all of uh, Warrior in the World's questions uh, a little bit earlier, but this is what B is asking now. How about deep inside? Can they really change is her question. Yeah, for me. Your, your opinion. Yeah, I, I believe they can. It's called managing your emotions, your feelings, knowing how you affect people, knowing how you hurt people. Um, make sure you understand. You got to, you know, that the pain. Here's the thing. You have to understand that your karma is coming. I am terrified of attacks. My karma, I believe in, I believe in karma. Most narcissists are like, I, I was the same way. I, 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 it ain't going to happen. But when it started happening to me daily, and it started getting worse and bigger and bigger. I'm like, ooh, I need to change my ways. I need to go back to how God created me. I didn't have there a you go. Yeah. When I started having a relationship with God and understanding God and knowing that it was real and not mm -hmm. the devil, that was real too. But when I switched from the devil to God, <clears throat> I had the strength. I had the ability. Okay. I had yeah. the thought. I had the thought process to change. And yeah. I had I practice, I have to practice this every single day. Every single day. Because even now, when I get upset, I start getting hot on the inside and in a in a bad way. And I'm like, calm down, it's okay, be cool. Same thing with PTSD. I have to. A lot of times, I created things in my mind that didn't even exist because I wanted to be angry. It felt good to hurt a woman's feelings. It felt good to lie. It felt good to be sneaky. But I was creating these these emotions and these thoughts in my head that weren't really there. And then I gave it life. Then you gave it life, and when you gave it life, it usually equaled you reacting or you behaving in a certain way, which yeah. automatically triggered a certain reaction of pain that you passed on to someone else, right? So no matter what the thoughts were in your head, the reaction was going to be painful to somebody around you. Had to be. That was my way of liberating myself. That was my way of making myself feel better, making myself feel good. That was my way of saying, I'm not guilty. They're guilty. She shouldn't have said what she said. She shouldn't have done what she done. But I was making them act the way that they were acting. You know, my you, friend, you, you were, you were, you were, you were, what is that? You were, you were creating the, the drama. That, I was, uh, you even would invite it in your own head and associate with it, even if it was somebody else that was creating drama. And it but was, we all, but can't we all fall into that category if we're not careful? Yeah, but, but right, Pax, but narcissistic people don't want to be defeated. 
We don't like got to it. Be, we don't want to lose out. So my drama is going to be your drama. If you got drama, my drama is going to be worse than your drama. And we argue there you back go. and forth. I'm not going to lose. I'm not. Look, Pax, I went year. Let me tell you something. And I didn't realize this until 2010 or so. My ex-girlfriend said, you don't never apologize, Lee. And I was like, for what? I'm not going to. And I was wrong. But I didn't like being wrong. And then I didn't like the fact that she knew that I was wrong. And I knew that she was right. But I wouldn't. No, nah, no, nah, you got to stop. That was a good one right there. No, wait. You knew you were wrong. Yeah. And you weren't going to apologize you were wrong. And you didn't like the fact that she knew that you were wrong. Hated it. Hated it. She called me out about 2009, 2010. And I was I thought about it for one second. Like, yeah, whatever. No, I ain't wrong. And I was, I was wrong, Pax. You I was so to, way wrong. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to maintain wow. control over her. I wanted to maintain that control, not only that, but over my emotions uh, coming out and me wanting to open up. Nope, Oops, suppress it. Ain't going to happen. I read a okay. book talk about another book. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. We'll no, no, I'm going to say somebody wrote something on here, and then I just got to read it to you. It was a while back, but it fits what you're just talking about and what you were feeling and what you're dealing with. Warrior in the world says, you didn't feel God, so you made yourself God. And that's, in every situation... You said, I ain't got to be accountable because I'm the one that's, the, you know, hey, I'm running everything. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm, the man. I'm in charge. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm in charge. I'm the man in charge. I was like, I'm the man. Man. say yeah. so. Women. And then, hey, and, then, and then the spanking and then the spanking came. And then you were like, oh, I guess I'm not in charge. <laughs> recognize. Hey, recognize. Yeah, but I was, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm in charge. I'm not wrong. You know, I know everything. I'm smarter than you. I'm better than you. Be quiet. Don't say nothing. Yeah, you know? exactly. I would yeah. say nasty things to my ex-girlfriend's packs to get them to shut up <clears throat> and then turn around and maybe take them somewhere to eat or get the nails done. But I was like, don't, don't, don't ever, you know, say that to me again. But they were right. I was going wrong. I read a book. You, like, did, you didn't want to, you didn't want to go down that road then? Is that why you tried to make them be quiet? Because that, because now that vulnerability and where you were wrong starts to come out. So you you okay. hurt their feelings, dude. Pax, that's a trip. Check this out. I would make my girlfriends crying, and then it would turn me on. So I don't even I don't even know where to put that, bro. You don't. Yeah, you don't want to be that way, bro. It, it's it was I was real sick and. It would turn me on to see them cry, you know, and I did that often. I didn't know why. So, so, so when somebody, uh, for example, uh, CG Tough Love says accountability feels like an attack to people in denial. Yes or no? Yeah, big time, one hundred percent. So, so then, then just just bear with me. I'm gonna throw this to you before you talk about that book there for a second. I don't know if you saw Anne said this. Anne Crosby said, "Did you put up a wall as protection?" Oh yeah, and then their suffering filled my void, like uh, the warrior just said. But, 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 but for Anne, yeah, my wall was up. My my walls were very high, but I didn't want them to have walls. I wanted to be able to go right into them. Or if they had walls, <clears throat> I wanted to do something to reduce their walls, so I can always have access to their emotions and their feelings. Because I had to be in control of her circuitry. I had to be in control of her emotions, her feelings, her crying. So so her so her circuitry, her emotions. You had to have access to them. For you to live off of them or for you to feel the sense of a power and, and uh, superiority? Both. I had to live off of them because I wanted to guide and keep her um, in the direction that I wanted her going in. I wanted her to, to always not know what, we're, what where we were going in a relationship. I wanted her to always be confused. But I didn't want her to ask me about marriage because I wasn't going to marry you. And I didn't know okay. why. So, so her confusion is it was was paramount you needed her to be confused yeah and and, and so so what warning would you give to a woman right now I and mean, they may be saying it because i still got to go down the chat dude the chat is blowing up everybody's talking I, i'll get to everybody don't don't think i'm not and i see the two questions that you have for leon here we'll get to that in a moment so confusion is important so if a woman right now is dealing with that type of confusion let's say she's on the end of somebody who is the uh previous leon what would be your quick words of advice if she's just passing through this live and she's dealing with this constructed con confusion on purpose? Any advice for her? Yeah, don't date a demon. 